Kyle didn't do in the first half when Anthony did have the two fouls? Well, what he did was he came in and, and he's not afraid. He played aggressive. He made shots. He got in the middle of the zone. He kicked it out from there. He made a shot in there. Um, he was terrific. John, can you talk about Marquise Teets' play over the last seven game stretch? He's, uh, I know he's averaging about six in the last six um, per game and had another eight tonight. Yeah, he's, he's playing. I told him, I said, you missed a bunch of shots today. I don't really care. And that's not why you're here. You're here to run this team. And as long as you run this team well, you're, we're happy. Um, you know, he, we've been really on him hard not to get layups blocked. So he went in there today and he, and he shot it. The guy tipped it, but it was not blocked. And it went to the rim and we tipped Duncan. Um, you know, he's, he's getting us involved in offense. The only thing he did in this game, and he's a freshman, he doesn't know. They switched a big man on him. Well, the big man knows he can't guard you. The only thing he can do is take a stab at the ball. So you don't mess with the ball. You get it by him and clip him so he fouls you. He messed with it off the knee, behind the back twice, and the kid tipped it away from him. Those are all those teaching points that we need to stay on to just keep him moving at that next level. John, Andy Kennedy saying he was a basketball Jones. Compares your teams to UNLV, UNLV teams that almost went back to back in the 90s. And then he says the only thing that could stop you, quite possibly, is your own execution or foul trouble. What's your take on that? Yeah, or somebody making 15 threes against you, something like that could happen, and you don't get another chance to get them. It's one and done. It's, you know, I think we've got a good team. I'm not satisfied. I'm happy, but I'm not satisfied at all. Um, and I just want us to keep climbing, and then we'll see how good we can be. I mean, at the end of the day, we'll see if we have the best team. If we don't, someone else is better than us. Last question. John, the home winning streak reached 50 games today. What is your reaction to that? How does that make you feel that you've been able to sustain that? Well, it's the first I thought of it. It is 50. Yeah. Ah, it's a lot of games. <laughs> <laughs> I made an executive decision with the, the radio group outside, the 9,000 people that stay after. If we lose, I do not sign one ball. So you guys better cheer your guts out for us to win. If I walk in there after an L, no balls get signed. So now I'll be out there and sign 200 basketballs before I, I leave the building. Thank you.